When people talk about bonds, including government bonds, they often mention bonds yield. But what exactly is yield? In essence, yield is the rate of return for holding a bond. You may also come across the term coupon or coupon rate. Coupon is the rate of interest a bond pays at regular intervals. In the old days, you used to get a physical coupon to claim your interest payment. Now let's explore yield in a little more detail. There are different types of yields and different ways to calculate them. But for the purposes of this video, we will discuss the bond's yield to maturity, or YTM, because it's commonly used in bond markets and is the most relevant to debt managers. Yield to maturity is the estimated annual return that we would get from buying a bond and holding it until maturity. That is, the return from all the coupon payments and the principal payments on a bond, assuming that the payments that are received before maturity are reinvested at the same rate. In finance terms, the yield to maturity is the internal rate of return on a bond. Unfortunately, we cannot calculate the yield on a bond with more than one cash flow algebraically. We can use an equation to explain how we might calculate the yield on a bond. In this equation, the price on a bond is the sum of each of the coupon payments, C, divided by 1 plus the yield, Y, to the power of T, which is the year of the coupon. To this we add the principal payment of the bond, F, again divided by 1 plus the yield to the power of capital T, which represents the year the bond matures. We need to solve this equation for Y. Let's illustrate with an example. We have a five-year bond with 5% 5 annual coupon and a face value of $100, repaid in year five. Let's assume its price is $104.45. What is the yield? We can expand our formula above to show each of the terms. And then we put the information we know. How do we solve for Y? We need to use an iterative process of trial and error. The easiest way to do this is to use GoalSeq or Solver in Excel to solve for Y. If we do that, we find that the yield to maturity is approximately 4%. We can also put these terms together in the table to see how they have given us the price based on our yield. The term that we have created in this equation, 1 over 1 plus y to the power of t, can also be described as the discount factor that applies to each cash flow as we receive it at a different point in time and we want to work out what the cash flow is worth today. We can relabel our table to make this clear. Working out the yields may take some practice as it requires you to iterate to find a solution. We can finish by noting that the yield is often different from the coupon. In this example, while the coupon is 5%, the yield is 4%. Since the bond is priced at 104.45, the yield is lower than the coupon as you have paid more than $100 for a bond with a face value of $100.